There are two ways to build Fushan. There's the speed build and there's the HP build. But which build reigns supreme as Fushan's best in slot? That is what we're gonna compare today. Hello, Internet! And oh boy, I've done one of the hardest loot I ever had to do. And well, a lot of you enjoyed, so <laughs> glad that happened. But today will be something more mild. You know, I, I'll get burnt out otherwise. We have a speed Fushan here. And basically, we're pitching this build right here with a pure HP build later on. In terms of traits, it's fully invested. Relic wise, I'm on Messenger with Longimus with Broken Keel. Robe is on ERR. And the main point of interest is on the speed boot. We're just trying to find out if the speed is that valuable, right? Since a lot of people ask me as well. So today we'll be comparing two of these builds in MOC 10 versus the guy that always gets beaten up, dude. And here we go with the first fight. We are using a team like this. It is very squishy, but we are trying to just see if Fusha can protect all the squishy characters, right? And we're not going to use Super Wolf Sis, uh E here because I kind of I kind of mistakenly used my technique already. But here we have it. This is the first fight. We're going to go ahead and let Dan Hag do his job here. You guys are going to see something you have rarely ever seen. End game Dan Hag did. Thank you by Eon. And here we have it. We need a slope. But who cares, dude? We're dunking some crazy damage anyway. Look at this, man. It'll probably do like 80k. Okay, I am so off. Well, it's not too far off, but anyways, now we have to slow. And we have the 30 energy as well. So overall, I think you win with that. Go ahead and plant the weakness. Right now, my Fushan is speedy. The first thing that I can see already is that she'll do her Q a lot faster. Well, that's like obvious, but that also means you get more skill points to work around, especially if you're a team that's so fast. Like Dan Hang, Tingyun, and so on. Every one of them are above 145 speed here. And remember, guys, I'm trying to see if I am protected. So I'm not going to play like absolutely perfectly, right? Let's just play like an absolute monkey, which should be my specialty. And see if Fushan can just win, even with me just trolling, right? Let me get used by all right here. This is still the first cycle and Fushan already has another turn. That is because we are above the speed breakpoint for, you know, two turns in the first cycle. The Matrix is dissipating here, so if you were not on speed, you don't have to use your E here, but since I'm on speed, I got a turn, I have to use my E. Is that a bad thing? I don't even think so. We get our ult already. So let's go ahead and hit everyone in the field back. It's still doing a, quite a bit, though I don't have a lot of cred. And in terms of protection, I'm doing okay as well. And well, I thought I would have played this slow, but Dan Hang can kind of really clear this quick. What in the world, Dan Hang? Yo, couldn't hit you. Bag. And we did not kill it, but eh, almost. Right, I'll just hit you right here, and I'm gonna just recharge Dan Hang. He actually feels like a sealer right now. Although I do have sealer's like on her, though. I thought he would really underperform, but no, he's like trucking right now. Gosh dang. I'm gonna go and use my skill points right now. And it is almost time for me to heal. Yep, I did heal. I'm on messenger set. That means I am faster, but I don't have outgoing healing, which I would usually have if I had like the full HP build. That means I'm not healing to full. But does it matter that much though? I don't think so. Let me just hit whoever. Bang. We'll let the Trotter live. I've killed tons of them in my solo challenge, dude. Right, time to buff Dan Hang and it's time to ult with you, dude. Let's go. Should do quite a bit. And boom, a 77k baby. And I don't have my E. Ooh, yikers. But again, it's not about trying to beat this with the most efficient way possible. It's about can Fushan on speed protect me enough. Right, up until this point, we are absolutely fine. Although we can see that Dan Hang's health is dropping quite a bit. But that's not even Fushan's like, fuck, you know what I mean? Fushan's doing a job. I think with this, we will end the boss right here, right now. Get that Dan Hang another ult. Dude, this is just a Dan Hang showcase, no? But yeah, we're gonna go in and kill the uh, Void Ranger. Boom, prod. Did not crit. But anyways, another turn for our pick little head. The matrix is gonna disappear. So let's go ahead and grab that matrix up again. We're gonna use our alt to end you. And there we go. That is the first wave done. Moving on, we are versus Yancheng. This is perfect as well. Watch this, dude. I'm gonna just dunk in my ultimate roll here. Now, although I said I don't want to clear this fast, but come on. We're gonna buff Dan Hang. That will allow me to use my Windrest Pen LT on a slow target with Agent Co. with Cerulus' S3. Dude, this guy's about to taste death. And boom. <laughs> <laughs> Almost 100k, man. From a dang Dan Hang. Right, in terms of survival, we are doing absolutely fine. And we do get another turn here. We don't need to use our Matrix, though. We do still have it up right now. So I'm just gonna use our Q. I'm not exactly sure what happens if I don't kill the swords, but I don't think we're supposed to leave the swords alive. So let's try and kill the swords first. Right, this will go. We are protected. And we got the heal off. We still have one stack of healing. We're literally doing fine right now. Let me use my L right here. I want to kill Trotter. It's turned into a pork chop. Right, let's just touch you one time. Matrix is still on. I don't even need to use our E. Since there's no reason to, I'm actually not gonna. I'm gonna just do this. They're hitting Dan Hang. It's gonna hurt. We're absolutely fine, guys. But I'm just gonna focus back on Yan Cheng, man. Screw this. I don't even know what the sword does. Usually, I clear in one turn, but it's not like they're doing anything. We have another ult with Fushan. We are definitely using a bunch of ults right now. So, 
confirm that should. Eh, almost killed him. All right, let's just kill the source, man. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. We'll kill the trotter. That should give that another turn because I'm E6. There we go. And back. Everything's dead. You're back and killing Yan Cheng. Ah, as the world should be. There's a few like guarantees in the world. If you work hard, you'll succeed. And the other guarantee is if Yan Cheng exists, he will get beaten down. Right, we are needing the matrix right now, so we're going to do it. In terms of skill point, we're not even like wasting that much, even on the speed build. And in terms of survivability, I am chilling. Anyways, we are going to face the ult from Yan Cheng. That is kind of worrying. So I'm still going to keep trucking. Let's just do a basic skill. Right, we'll use our E here. We should be able to use our all. I don't think we are going to get the um, break here, but it would help a lot if I could. Oh, we do have Sir Wolf though. Wait, I could do this. Let's go, man. Bang. Oh, you are already dead. But well, there we go. Versus the hardest MOC stage of Honkai Star Rail. We're just destroy it though. Right, we're still on Matrix, so let's just hit you. Get that entanglement count on, and we have our ult again. We are definitely using our ult a bunch of times. Just like that, we have defeated Yan Cheng. Things are as it should be. Right, again, we're not trying to see how fast we can clear it. It's just about how much we can protect our team, and I would say, even for a speed of Fushad, we did not go into the red. We didn't have a healer. It's not like we reduced the enemy's attack. We are surviving well, so in that regard, having the speed is definitely better, right? Since I'll have more heals for my whole team as well. But either way, we will try both builds and just to see what the main differences are. And here we have it. We swapped out the speed blue for a HP one and we did switch the set around as well. The subsets are definitely a bit different, but overall it should still be almost the same. We got a one ring cloud set to give me the 10% healing and we are still on ER rope and pretty much for the speed. I've lost 37 speed, so quite a chunk there because we lost the messenger set and we lost the speed boot, but we did gain 10% outgoing healing boost and about 7 700 HP. Oh, blow on it. So will this build be better though? Let's find out, dude. And here we go for the HP build. I'm not using Super Wolf's E because, well, I did it for the last one either. So this should be fair. It doesn't really matter what I do here. I just want to see if there's any difference at all to like argue about speed or like HP. This is only my per- Oh, well, that is a lot of damage got just by not critting. <laughs> Gosh, dang it. But I was going to say, in my opinion, I don't think it'll matter that much. They will both sustain absolutely fine. Well, basic here. And yeah, we're not critting or anything, but we should be absolutely okay. Right, it's time to debuff. That's a bit different already. I did not entangle the enemy. But you know what? I didn't crit with Dan either. This is only fair, dude. Jesus. Where did your health go? Here comes the first um arrow. I should be immune to it. Yep, I am, because I do have the matrix, right? And up until this point- Nothing's really much different. <laughs> Everyone's kind of healthy, just like last time. Give me my E right there, and I'm using my ult anyway, because I'm pretty sure you're dead. The freaking Surus is debuff and everything, dude. You're just dead, man. There we go. You'll definitely die to entanglement, so we are okay now. Right, now we finally have a turn with Fushra that I need to do things with. We are already out of the first cycle, so we did not take the second turn in the first cycle. It's because of, you know, not having enough speed breakpoint, right? And this is only our first ulti, so in two cycles, I'm only able to use one LT. That's a bit of a difference there, right? But I do have increased increase outgoing healing, so let's take a look. We go for this. Bang. Our whole team is kind of like about the same helm. You know, just a tiny bit more. And of course, her own talent is able to full heal her. That's something we did not see with the other build. But in the end, does it matter that much? Bushred is just that strong where it literally does not matter. And up till this point, I am missing every crit with a dance ulti. I don't know what to tell you. We do have another turn with Bushred here. We are just taking pretty much one turn per cycle, but that does not matter. Let me just hit you. And this guy should die. 74k break effect Cyril for the win, baby. Right, I'm gonna take some damage here, but honestly, I don't think I'm afraid at all. Like, I'm just healthy. I'm gonna use Cyril's this E here because I do have Matrix for one more turn. I suppose that's something I have to think about where this Fushan is slower, my Matrix is longer. That's why I'm able to like spend skill points a bit more. I would say that's kind of different. Uh, honestly, grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter that much. You can see here, if it was speed Fushan, I would definitely need it to use my E because the Matrix would have just, you know, subsided. But either way, that also means with this bow right here, I do not have CC immunity. I'm gonna go ahead and just end this fight right here. I would have killed this no matter what. If it was speed for sure, I definitely didn't have to care whether or not they're speed down or not. I would have had the CC immunity regardless. But anyways, we are getting into the final fight here. Let's go ahead and grab Dan Heg, the win rest pen here. And oh yeah, Yanching, time to get stabbed by like one of the seven weapons that stabbed you before. You poor soul, man. But the weakness, get quantum. Oh yeah, baby. Right, they are gonna get their swords in. Again, I don't even know what are the point of these swords right now. Like sure, I can 
cannot break Yancheng, but they don't really do damage. I'm so tempted to just let them be because Fu Shen could just tank it, right? But we need to reapply ma Matrix right now. We are running out and here is our ultimate. We can definitely see a lot less ultimate usage as compared to our previous run, which also means less healing. But with every heal, look at this. I'm like almost full health. That is with every heal because I got the Wondering Cloud set. For this run, I'm going to try and just burst down Yancheng. Right, here comes the heal. We are getting to full health and we are tanking a lot of damage from the swords, but we're just fine. But Speed Fu Shen is also able to just spam her ulti way more than this build right now, right? Right, let's keep trucking. 73,000, dude. Right, here comes the swords. I'm not afraid. You already have... Yeah, you're using the freeze, but I did have the Matrix up. He tried to freeze me. I had CC immunity, even with a slower um, Fushra, because he only has one skill that applies CC. So it's like, why do we have to care, right? We're just chilling. Right, here comes the ult skill, I believe. My team is taking damage now, because I simply don't have the ulti on Fushra to heal, right? Can I just get rid of 16% of your health? That'll be... Oh, wow. Okay, that's kind of insane. But our health is definitely lower here. So there's a few conclusions we can draw, I believe. Again, this is only my opinion and my observation. I'm only human, so I might be wrong, but let me just start with the conclusion, guys. For a pink little gremlin, speed is still quite valuable. The thing with speed is it's the most scarce, um stat in the game. Therefore, it's like the most valuable one because you don't really get a lot of ways to increase your speed. So with the messenger and the speed boot, you gain so much speed that it will easily outvalue like, you know, 800 health. But she has the highest base health of all time. So even if you don't have full HP invested, you can easily still hit like 8k health. And that's like more than enough. You'll never die already. I tried to troll around with like a full team of squishies and I had no issues dealing with MOC 10. So yes, the conclusion is speed is still better just because you will get your E up a lot more. So there's, you know, increased chance of you applying DCC immunity. The healing you would get even without, say, um, Wandering Cloud is already enough to keep the whole team alive. If you go for Garden Morning Snow or any other sets, it'll only increase your survivability anyway, which overall, both build has no issues in terms of survivability, but on speed, you are able to do more ulti, that means more healing and more CC immunity. For that reason, speed will be preferred on Fushan, guys. But I would say, if you want to solo MOC, then you can't go speed, you have to go health. So yeah, it's not like health is totally dog crap. In a solo situation, health beats everything. And that is all for today. It'll be a milder video because I'm kind of tired. I don't want to get burnt out from doing too crazy stuff every day. So yeah, I'll, I'll try like do some more fun stuff in the future. But that is all for today. Take care.